Hi guys, it's Doc's Market Minute for Friday, February 12th. I thought I'd take a moment out of talking about bear markets today to go over a, a neat little feature that I saw in one of my brokers. You know, you have to you have to think about your broker as a tool because I think more so than any other style of trading, really the interface that we interact with is really our view into how a position is doing and what it needs in terms of adjustment or whether it's doing well or not. But what I run into a lot of times is I've got these positions that, I mean, especially for doing the things that we should do, which is trading small positions and putting a lot of them on, is you get into this and you just, you're not quite sure what's what. I mean, what, what pairs of positions that we have here don't know. Now, I like how some brokers solve this problem. This is Option House, which is the old uh, Trade Monster platform, and they, they do a nice job of grouping things, and so you can figure out what's what here and what positions go with what and everything like that. And you can also do custom grouping, so if you add different positions into there and it kind of splits things apart, you can always regroup them in any manner that you want to. So I always like that because I can look at a glance and see how things are. So back to Thinkorswim, I discovered this neat feature that if you show the new view of the positions, the new view, you can actually break them into groups. Now, I feel silly because I'm sure they've had this feature around for years and a lot of you out there are going, well, no kidding. But this is not something that's, I think, widely known out there. So what I can do is I can break it into different groups. And like for this one, this is a broken wing butterfly. Here's a call diagonal. And if I wanted to, I could... Uh, create a new group down here. So if I want to add another group, I can move this to a group. I can add a group here, and I'm going to call this a MAR2 call diagonal. Okay, so I've got a new group there, and I'm going to start to build that new position. And so all I have to do is to come down here and add the second position to that, which is uh, this one down here. I'm going to move that to the group and the MAR2 call diagonal and now I've got this one all set up okay had the wrong option in there so now I've got the correct option in there so now I can I can break this up into different groups and it shows different positions and at a glance now I can see how these are doing and if anything needs to be done versus looking through this forest of different options down here and wondering what position goes with what and and trying to keep and I uh, really manage your inventory, so I think this does a much better job of that. So again, if you're a Thinkorswim user, I'm always finding new features that the platform offers, which they try to teach us about, but you know, unless you're doing this as a full-time job, staying on top of what they do, it's probably difficult. There's probably a lot of things that are out there that are worth discovering. So this is just one of them. thought I'd bring it to your attention. Enjoy the bear. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here next week. Take care, guys.